Hi everybody, happy Friday! Okay, so I have some favorites to show you, and I have a fail to show you as well that I'm not happy with. But, so, I have some things that are new to me, or recently discovered, and then I have like a long lost favorite that I forgot about and forgot how much I love that I'm going to share with you. Um, so, anyways, I have like pretty bright makeup on because I just filmed the colors of the rainbow tag, which, if it's not already up, um, it should be up soon, and then if it's already up, I'll link it down below, but I'm not sure in what order I'm going to upload what. Um, so, yeah. So, first favorite. This, um, I love, and I got this from Melissa, Mel and PHS. She is such a good influence. <laughs> um, she just has really good taste. I got this in the swap. This is the NYX Roll-On Shimmer. See, I was just afraid of these roll-on shimmers, like I would have never bought one myself, so I'm so happy she got it. This is in the color Salmon, and it's a beautiful kind of rosy gold bronze. It's so pretty and metallic, and it's just so shimmery, so gorgeous. You just kind of roll it on. I have a little bit of swatches left over from my Colors of the Rainbow tag. That's a really big swatch. <laughs> I want to make sure you can see it, you know, because... No, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that's what it looks like there. It's just a beautiful kind of rosy gold, shimmery and sparkly, yummy goodness. Oh, 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 it's amazing. I am so, so impressed with these. I, I'm so happy she sent that because like I said, I would never have thought about buying one myself. Another thing from that swap, which I heard so much about and was just so eager to try. This is my, yeah, my prestige. This is my blackest lash from Prestige, and this is a black mascara, and it's really good. It gives really good volume. Um, it really, I have it on today. Can you tell? I don't know. Um, but it's just really nice volume, and what I really like about it is it doesn't feel super hard and crunchy. Like, I love my Giordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara, but my eyelashes feel like hard and crunchy. Um, but, you know, if you have issues with your lashes feeling funky, then this might be a little bit better of a choice because it doesn't leave it so, um, I was going to say crusty, but it's not the right word. It's, I don't know. I don't know. So I really like this. I think it's, it is definitely worth the money. I do, I do like it and I've been enjoying using it. So I've been going for it. I've been reaching for it and grabbing for it. Now I don't know when these came out and then or of how limited edition they are, but I wish Wet n Wild would just release their palettes and just keep them instead of just like making them limited edition and sought after. So this is this doesn't really even have a name, it's just called an eyeshadow medley. It looks like this. Five main eyeshadows and three eyeshadows at the top. They're just kind of like shimmery top coats. The shimmery top coats I could I really don't care for. They're just kind of just sparkly and I mean they're okay not bad that's what they look like but it's the other colors in the palette especially this middle one just so buttery oh it's so smooth they're very pigmented and soft and creamy just beautiful even these two matte shades on the bottom it's kind of awkward to show there we go um, they're just very nice and pigmented so if you happen to be walking in your local drugstore and you see a palette like that, definitely pick it up because these main colors, the five colors on the bottom, are absolutely amazing. Super duper pigmented, creamy, buttery, easy to blend, just beautiful, beautiful colors. I love that red color so much. Ugh, it's delicious. <laughs> okay, next favorite is something I rediscovered. I pulled out to do the rainbow eye liner look I got going on right now. Um, I've had this forever and I just, I love it. I just don't reach for it a lot because they are super bright colors. This is the Ben Nye Lumiere palette. As you can see it has a, ver okay. it has a variety of different colors. They're just, they're beautiful, pigmented, uh, creamy, long lasting. They don't crease. They're just a phenomenal, phenomenal phenomenal <laughs> colors and if you like bright colors this is definitely um, a palette for you they just they're so pigmented and beautiful I just I love them they're so pretty so if you're into bright eyes and want some really good quality bright eyeshadows this is definitely a palette for you to check out I love it 
love, love, love. It's been, like I said, I loved it when I first got it and then I just kind of put it away because I got afraid of color for a while. You know, I fell into that neutral trap. Um, but I pulled it out and I just, I love it. It's, it just reminded me how much I love it and how, what good quality it is. All right, last favorite. I've actually had these for maybe even two months or so. I've had them for a while. There's a stinking fly buzzing around and it's driving me bonkers. New fly. Anyways, on to the favorite. This is from um, Benjabel. This is the Benjabel tree. Um, and this is what it is. Okay, it's a little tree. See? Little tree and it has little slots in the top here for you to put your brushes in. And so it makes drying your brushes, washing your blush brushes so much easier. So you just stick in your wet brush underneath and it just, your brushes dry like 10 times faster. You can even use it as a brush holder opposite way. And I just, it's genius. It makes brush, brush drying time so much faster. What am I trying to say here? It just makes me look forward to actually washing my brushes. And anybody that has quite a bit of makeup brushes know, oh my gosh, there are two flies in here now. Really? <laughs> It just makes washing my brushes a much more enjoyable process and it dries them super duper fast. I think it's genius. I love it. There's also a bigger size for bigger slots so if you can't fit your big barrel brushes through it then there's a large size um, of these and I just think it's genius. I love it. Super duper. It just makes life easier and <laughs> anything to make life easier and speed processes up is A-OK -okay by me. Okay, so my fail, the product itself I love, but the packaging just literally decided to explode on me. Um, <laughs> I love the product, but the packaging just kind of pissed me off this week. So, this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I really like it. It's really opaque, and it, it does crease a little bit. It's not completely creaseless. Like, I don't, I don't know why they say that, but I guess it's like the least creasing concealer out there. But I love this. But so anyways, I was squeezing, squeezing, squeezing and couldn't get any product out and then it popped on the top and just like, like exploded everywhere. So that's a fail. This is like an expensive concealer. It's like almost $30 or something ridiculous like that. And for it just to like pop and explode and all the precious product ooze out, I'm like, no. So um, that's a fail. So I think, do you guys, what should I do? Should I put this, just like depot it and put it into a jar? Should I try and like... I don't know, like pyro it and melt it and squeeze it back together at the top? Well, I don't know. But so that's my fail. It's not the product, it's just the packaging decided to explode on me and that was not very nice and it got everywhere. It's a big mess, big, big concealer catastrophe. Anyway, so that's my Friday favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had a great 4th of July and have a fantastic weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.